Hey, what's up guys? We're back again. Professor here, and today we have something that you guys all voted for. This one has been in the works for a while. Uh, we took a poll, and looks like top free VSTs and make a beat with them won by 63%, or was a 63% vote of five choices. So we're gonna get on that today, all right guys? Um, first, uh, all these plugs I'm about to show you, all these VSTs and sound generators as well as DLLs are absolutely free. Uh, you can find most of them on vstforfree.com if you wanna know more about them. Um, but I'm gonna start by letting you know that I already got rid of the ones that were glitchy on my computer and I only kept the ones that worked. And I even went ahead and made a zip file for you so you don't have to go to each different web page and find these. You can just, if you have WinZip or WinRAR, I definitely recommend WinRAR. It is much better than WinZip. Go download WinRAR. Um, you can then extract all of these. Actually, there's two things in here that you don't need to extract to your VST folder. Um, samples and Eddie Roll, you can actually extract these to like your music folder because this is a bunch of free samples I'm giving you that you can use for kicks and hi-hats, uh, FPC stuff. And Eddie Roll is one that you just install like this, all right? And this is old. This is, uh, I think it's from, I think it's like a Steinway plugin, but it's really old, but it's really good. Everything else in here, Basic 64, Basic 65, Delay Llama, GTG MX 2008, Lo-Fi Zercina, Piano Visco, Viola, Violin, all of these. You can extract these into your uh, Windows C and you probably want to use your program files 86, but you also might have a VST folder in your program files. So go look for a folder called VST plugins I have mine right here and you can make a separate folder for them if you want but I would just have I would just extract them into the directory of where your VST plugins are in and I would click OK it will then extract into these you'll see that I already have done this all right now you can find this or oh, then after you'll extract this to your desktop or whatever and then you'll double click it and install it and the samples, you just treat like samples, all right? Just put them wherever your samples are. Now you can find this uh, at two different links, all right? I put all my stuff that I give you guys on Mediafire, but I don't know, sometimes you guys have issues or you guys click these ads, um, I don't know, but make sure you get this, like skip past the ad, don't download whatever update or whatever, just get the free VST YouTube. It's 605 point Oh, 05 megabytes it's that one you can download it from here um, you might have to watch an ad I don't know I probably do since I don't I have the free version of Mediafire um, or you can use we transfer link that I put up which is this but the files are gonna be deleted off here in seven days because it's free version um, so get them off of here if it's not up go to Mediafire download them and then extract them with WinRAR all right so now that we've covered this let's hop into our programs oh by the way like i said you guys most of you can find this stuff on vstforfree.com if you want to look at them but i looked up just some like highly rated ones and then kind of tested them out for us um you can find a lot of cool stuff on here guys but i'm gonna make it easier for you all right so let's go into what we got and how I use them. Oh, but first, after you extract your VSTs and your DLLs, you need to tell FL Studios to, use, to, to look for them. So you'll go up here to options and you'll type in man or you'll click manage plugins. All right. It's going to pop this up right here. This FL Studio plugin manager. Um, 
you'll want to check your options like don't rescan previously verified plugins don't rescan plugins with errors unless you have to and then just combine vst vs3 versions 32 and 64 bit versions um to find it you'll go here not not this one but this little positive button right here, this little guy right here, click that. Now go to where you extracted your VSTs. You will um, go to look for your VST plugins. Oh, oh, all these are in here. Yep. So you'll just have VST plugin folder. Okay. Now it's in here. FL Studios knows FL Studio knows to look in this folder for new plugins. Then after that, you'll just click Start Scan. All right, I already have these in, so I'm not gonna do it. But once you click this, it's gonna look through all of them. Then you'll see in yellow new ones like this one. I just got this one yesterday. You'll close this. Now you might have to restart FL Studio. I don't know. But you can now add these plugins. More plugins. Uh, I can add my piano one. Bada boom, bada bing. You double click it. It's right in here. So let's start from the beginning. What we got for you guys, okay? So I kind of looked for a more... I looked for things that I would use and that I think have a lot of function and good sound to them as well as um, you know interfaces don't look just ridiculously like melting your eyes because I've seen some that are really bad we've got this one this one's pretty cool uh, it has some it has different uh, violin instruments and sounds you can use different ones by uh, clicking these down here to create different sounds um, then I got a viola section for you guys Um, has some different ones. I got you a nice piano one right here. Sorry, it's hard to play anything like composition wise with just the small amount of keys I have on here. But it sounds great. Um, we now have Cinna. Check this one out. This is like a, I think it's a subtractive wavetable. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Cinna is a synth based on a single complex oscillator that includes five wave shapes with increasing spectral complexity harmonics level for all wave shapes, noise level, and a, and a delay matrix. Wow. You got your presets in here, you know, you just go to like your basses or your leads. When you guys hear what I did with it in the song, you'll like it. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? Then we have this. This is, uh, oh, what was this called again? Yeah, GTG MX 2008. This has a lot of like uh, sci-fi sounds and tech sounds, but it's got like some strings. A lot of filters and modulations that you can use. It actually reminds me a lot of what I can get from Nexus, but like, but um, maybe a little less user friendly. But I, I really like it. Um, I love this one. If you guys like old school, I made a freaking awesome bass with the. Uh, this basic 65 which is like a old school uh emulator listen like uh basic 65 is a monophonic synth inspired by the classic 80s home computer the comedy 
the Commodore 64 and its legendary SID chip. Building on the waveform and signal path of this famous chip, Basic 65 adds further features and options to take things a step further. Like, check it out. We got like. Ooh. <laughs> And then we have an even more basic version of this one, called Basic 64. I like it. And then, oh man, we have the king right here. This, Delay Llama, this will cure your depression. It will make your song the best song. This man right here, watch this. The Delay Llama by Audio Nerds. I like Audio Nerds. Well, I like them because they made this. Delay Llama makes your computer sound and look like a singing Tibetan monk. Delay Llama is the first software synthesizer that features both vocal synthesis and a real time 3D animated interface which dynamically reacts to musical gestures from the user to control the pitch and vowel sound oh, I... either a MIDI keyboard with a pitch bender or the built-in XY controller can be used. For extra mystical effect, Delay Llama has a simple stereo delay. You got like your delay time and port time effects. You're probably wondering how I'm doing that right now without clicking anything. I actually mapped it to these knobs to these different things. I'll show, you guys how to, I'll show you guys how to do that quickly. It's not hard. So you just go to your generators over here and you look for Delay Llama. And you see these? So you just right click it and then you'll click Link to Controller. And then you'll just move the knob that you want to put it to. And then you'll go again, you'll go to Generators. Delay Llama, Vowel, Link to Controller, and then, and now it's linked to that. And then you can. Play it straight up with your MPK. All right, let me reload this. So I made three main parts to this. Uh, project to really emphasize the strengths of each one. All right. Oh, also, you know, I might as well show you the cool samples that I got for you guys as well. Let me pull them out. All right. So in these samples, I think I gave you my random shit pack, which has a lot of uh, cool sound effects, like that eight thing that you hear everywhere, like like this one. That's in there. Got that in there. And all those are in there. Those are all compliments of, and these are free. You guys should check out his website or the Try Samples Trap Step Pack Volume 1 and Volume 2 has some great samples in it. And I've included it in that um, 
in that zip folder. All right, it has some great stuff. And everything I used for my drums have come from that as well here. Awesome. So now let's look at the three different parts of this song. We have part one, then we have part two, even with a little bit of vocals on it, just showing you you can get some good vocal stuff with, uh, with FL Studios. Then I got something here showing off something called the Lo-Fizer. This thing has different presets and you can load up like different things like a vinylizer or a hum or a hiss or a bit crusher, a speaker sim, uh, the crusher's cool, make or 8-bit stuff. Like this is a really cool thing to just lo-fi your sound. Um, it just, just makes your sound sound worse which is what lo-fi is. It's low fidelity sound. Um, so I made a quick part showing off this as well. And then over here. So let's start by checking out this. Each of these, oh, you know what? I might as well show you guys Eddie Roll as well. Look at, look at this thing, ready? This thing is crazy, okay? Each of these, I've mapped to a different MIDI out right here. We have a flute, oboe, clarinet, bassoon, timpani, whatever. And I did it to these. Look at that. And then, like, I got number two is. Then we got some percussions. I'm talking like this thing's pretty dope. And all you have to do is make sure that these are like different channels. That way it knows to do these here. And then you just make sure your input port is two and your output port is one. And then this port is two. That way it knows to be with the things. All right. But uh, Eddie Roll is pretty cool. It's a lot of classical stuff in there. Uh, it even has some like presets that you can use for different symphony styles. Then you can just like throw in some, you know, some, um, some processing, maybe like Maximus or a stereoizer to make it sound wide or some reverb or delay like what I did. Now, let's hop in to how I used the piano, the violin, and uh, the viola section, and that is right here, as well as a harp from Eddie Roll. On these, I have put some some parametric EQs, Frutio stereo enhancers, some reverb, um, just some stuff to get it a little more like uh, sounding like ooh magical. You ready? Let's just go listen right here. Here we go. And that's just to show you like the really awesome full sound you can kind of get from these ones if you just add the like parametric EQ or EQ your sounds right and throw some reverb and maximus just things you could do they already sound fine on their own listen uh when i bypass them here That's really like great. That's like uh, 
It's a really great sound for free. That's awesome. Now, in the next part, I'm introducing some sub bass sounds. So, one of the sub basses that exists that I put in uh, Trap Step, it, the Trap Step folder, is pretty, you know, sounds good. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good bass, you know. We got some beats here with FPC. sound is in there. Um, now the the whoop sound you're hearing the is coming from GTG MX 2008. Pretty good. Um Another one that we, another one of the sound generators we used here was Cinna, this one right here. And you're gonna hear how we use it. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? We have those 808, 808 pumping in there. We got our drum beat being made on our FPC and other things here like the sound effects, blah, blah, blah. It's great stuff. So let's listen to it all at once with my excellent vocals. You guys are really gonna love it. All right, we have our uh, vocals just with a lot of uh, like reverb, delay, pitcher, auto-tune, stuff like that on it. So let's, uh, let's go into that. Let's see how this goes in here. Let's listen to the beat. I'll show you guys a slow transition with every one of those instruments from the beginning being pushed into the low fizer. All right. Ev all these sounds from the beginning being pushed into the low fizer preset that I made, which is this right here. Um, so I just kind of made this the, to what I needed it to be. And you'll see it slowly uh, being pumped in. Um, uh, with these automations and stuff. C 
See these right here? And next, I made this just really bumping loud bass with with a uh, with a uh, basic 65. Just just a ton of stuff on where it is. What is that? 14. Look at it, just just distortion, Maximus EQ, distortion again, EQ, Maximus, ma more Maximus EQ. Had a limiter to uh, uh, side chain it to the kick that I have going on in here. So let's listen to that bass. And I also have this uh, nice, cool sound from from Basic 64. Sounds like this. And you'll see I put some like gross beat, a ton of stuff. Let's listen to it without it. Lot of effects like a tape stop this tape stop is free by the way uh i didn't put it in the folder but if you look up dl blue tape stop it's just it's it's a good one uh support for it has ended though because apparently it's like crashed some people's studios or projects i've never had an issue with it though i love it uh gross beat gross beat makes everything sound funky so now that we know the sound generators that i'm using here oh and i recorded the legend himself into this uh, into this part. Uh, I'll uh. So we got the delay llama here. All right. So let's let's listen to this part. So that's basically how I used all these sounds and their potential. I'm sure they have even more potential with you guys using them. Um, you know, if you have any questions, leave them below. But uh, I hope that this kind of um, 
give you guys some cool sounds to work with in your studio that are for free. I mean, like, these are some pretty good ones. Uh, this one's the best one, though. I don't know why I'm still talking, though. And that was that, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that demonstration. <laughs> I had fun making it, and uh, I really hope you guys enjoy the sound generators I've been able to find. I hope you guys find them useful, and uh, show me the sum of... Show me the... Show me the... Show me the some of the stuff. Show me some of the stuff you make with them as well. Uh, leave any comments below if you have any questions or have any ideas for another video. Uh, you know, I love to listen to the community, see what you guys want, and uh, make sure you check out the links, the whatevers, and uh, make sure you guys hit subscribe and like the video if you guys got some cool stuff from this, all right? Or if you found it entertaining. But till then, I gotta go edit this video now. Uh, this has been Professor, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for, uh, thanks for dropping by and checking out the video. Check out more videos, watch more videos. Watch my FL Studios series, I promise you can learn some stuff from it. Watch, watch it, it's good, it's got like 40 videos in it, I think. I don't know, it's got some videos, watch it. I gotta go edit this thing, I hate video editing. Thanks for checking it, <laughs> have a great day, I'll see you guys on the next one, alright? Take it easy. Peace.